So Ryan, the homestead cook, he has a lot of stuff to bake. He's in a time crunch. Let's go help him out. Okay, Ryan, I hear you need my help. Yes, I have a big order of bread. I've got 15 loaves ready to go. Uh -huh. I've got the oven ready to go. Good. I just need hands to help me get this done. Okay, yeah, we should be able to get five in there, no problem. Yeah, I've got 15. I wanna see how many we can get there one time because I've got a ton of work to do after this. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see yeah. what we can fit. <laughs> We can get more. There's still some room. Okay, two more. Let's do it. And we'll leave this one right by the door. Okay, let's get it closed up. We did it. We got 15 loaves in there. Hopefully, they won't all grow together and we can get it out. Uh, so it's a challenge just to see how they're going to bake, especially if they get too hot in the back. And oh, that, this is going to be fun. It's a challenge. Uh, thank goodness we got all the bread done. Okay, what's this? We got half the bread done. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got to fit another 15 I told you it was a big order. We got to get more <laughs> okay. of these. I'm okay. going to start splitting in the loaves. It'd be really great if you could stick around yeah, long enough to help Yeah, I can do that. Okay. We don't think about uh, some of these jobs that are happening, especially in the 18th century. The baker job, uh, bakers were, uh, they were a very needed part of the community. They were uh, almost a, a survival aspect for a lot of people, especially in the cities. And the baker, he had a tough job. He had to come and start up this oven early, early in the morning and start the dough. This dough takes a lot of time because people want to buy their bread no not late in the afternoon they want to buy their bread in the morning you got to have the bread bread was so important in this time period that especially say in the uh, late 18th century there were bread riots if they didn't have enough bread if it was too expensive it caused unrest in the society and that even happens in north america especially during the civil war so the bakers are a very important part of the community. Okay, yeah, we need the pulleys out. Can you grab the peel? Yep. Yep. Here we go. So we got our first 15 loaves out of the oven. They're here. They're looking fantastic. I'm really excited about them. The next loaves are right over here in these smaller dough bowls. They're rising right now. The baker, Ryan, in this situation, he's got a big challenge, especially this time of year. The weather has turned and it is cold, especially in the morning. How do we get these to rise? If it's not the right temperature, uh, your bread just doesn't do the thing it needs to do. So we could take these and maybe we could balance them on top of the oven so that they'd stay warm, but not too warm. We've got to take these into the cabin where we've kept it, uh, the fireplace going big time so that it's a really warm in the cabin so that these will proof uh, properly. And we need, to, we need to proof these up pretty quickly. In our circumstance, the oven's cooling down, so we need to hurry up. Let's get these in the cabin.
John, thank you so much. Yeah. I cannot believe we got all that done. Yeah. Thank you. 15 loaves in the oven. I'll bet you right. we could have gotten one more. I maybe. think so. <laughs> we, I, when we started out, I thought 12 is the max. I yeah. did not <laughs> think we were going to go 15. Well, and I mean, they didn't grow together too bad. It was just, I mean, the dough was just right for that. So 15 worked great. I was surprised. I thought we would have some that were like more done on this side and more done on this. They all cooked pretty they, evenly. They were very That's consistent. Nice and I'm, you know, we just started working with this right. oven. I mean, it looked like the floor was maybe too hot in one spot. Okay. Right? Yeah, because we had that, three that were like a little yeah, darker. Yeah. But, I mean, they turned out great. And those, you, you just rasp the bottom off of them, sell them. They're right. good. Let me taste it a little bit without butter, because that's cheating. The crumb set up perfectly. Mm -hmm. Crust has got a great flavor to it. And again, this is just simple bread. It's the same... Four ingredients, water, salt, yeast, and flour. That's it. That's bread, especially in the 18th century. They had fancy breads, but this is what everybody's buying. I could eat that bread all day long. Even if I ran out of butter, I could enjoy that. You know, and this, this episode's been about pushing the oven to the limit. How much can we fit in there, especially mm -hmm. in a bread situation? We got two runs through, no problem whatsoever. We crammed that oven full of bread, and I am just so excited to be able to continue to use this. This size oven is perfect for this situation. You can fit a lot in it, but it isn't so big it takes forever to heat up, which is a problem with an even bigger oven. Right. But it was so hot that that first set of 15, I probably cooked in 12 minutes. Yeah. I mean, it was done quick. It was fast and cooked all the way through. Mm. Uh, amazing. And yet, and yet we can still cook things in it even now. Nice, right. uh, you know, desserts that don't need a high temperature. This it is so much fun to use this oven. Yeah. I love it. And the yeah. flavor of the bread that right. comes out of it is incredible. Nothing like your oven at home. Oh, wood, you know, yeah. wood fired bread. Oh, so good. Yeah, there's nothing else that tastes like it. If you've enjoyed this video and you want more on 18th century bread making, we have a whole playlist, lots of great episodes. Check it out.